Ah, the lovely rear CSI spoiler. Yep, yeah, it's a real work of art. Lovely curves on it, body coloured, black decal at the back, body coloured, towing eye cover, not standard, custom for me, of course. And it really sets the car apart. And only CSIs and sport models got this. They got this, along with the wing mirrors and a few other bits and bobs, and of course the front CSI spoiler. But have you ever wondered why you can see CSIs and sport models which don't have these on? Well, the reason is they just love to fall off. Yet, yet when they're new, they are nice, tightly fitting. They sort of go in and then you click them to the right and got all these little claws that all face the same way. So push it in, push it to one side. Then there's little metal clips along as well. Yet, unfortunately, when the car gets to 20, 25 years old, yeah, they start to fail. And yet they drop off with gay abandon. Yeah, came out one Sunday, Sunday morning to do a bit of cleaning and thought, yeah, something's missing there. Yeah, my rear CSI spoiler has gone. And I remembered that the night before we'd gone out to the cinema and that's a 50 mile round trip. Very little hope of finding it again. But by a stroke of luck, when we got very close to the cinema, someone very kindly plopped it in the middle of a roundabout. I brought it home and I stuck it back on. And the way you can fix it on to stop it ever falling off again, I'm going to show you. And it's so simple, it's only going to take you 10 minutes. But it means you're going to keep hold of your rear spoiler and not lose it on a roundabout like I did. Right, yeah, well, the first thing we'll do is we'll see how it's actually fitted on at the moment. To do this, we're going to have to go upside down under the car, I'm afraid. It's not going to be a pretty sight and I've probably got about five minutes before it heaves down with rain again and hails or snows like it did earlier on. So let, let's prevaricating, let's get on with it. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty video, I'm afraid, but here we go. Right, let's have a look under. Well, there's, that's the spoiler here, looking at the underside of the spoiler, so it's body colour. And then there's this plastic fella here. Now, that's a moulding which is very large, goes all the way to that edge, all the way to that edge. And as you can see, or well, just about see, it's bolted to, well, they're captive studs, bolted to the wheel well. Anyway, that's how it's fitted on. It has a number of captive studs that this large plastic bit is screwed onto or bolted onto. The next point of interest is these holes or slots in it. There's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And mine are all missing the clips. And that's because you can't rely on them. Now, the clips that go in that slot, as you can see, line up with the bottom of the spoiler. Clips which are sort of U-shaped things, but quite got an acute angle on them push into that hole and slide underneath the spoiler and as I say there's five of them. Now of course what happens with these is they rust and they lose their springiness and then they just give up holding a spoiler on at all and you can imagine also why they come off because of course there's nothing stopping this moving backwards well forwards towards the front of the car apart from the clips so what happens if you hit something with your spoiler, which is what I did when I lost it? Well, the spoiler moves backwards, it pushes the clips off, and then as you go forwards again, all five of the clips drop off. They may, may take turns of dropping off, but uh, yeah, I wasn't sure how many had on to start with, but uh, they all fell off. And then, of course, the spoiler holds on for a little while. So we'll go back up top now. Rightio, so how it holds on here, there's a joint between this part of the spoiler and this part of the bumper. And the way these are held on is it relies on the bottom fixings, the ones underneath the car, to stop it going left to right, because that's how it goes on. The spoiler itself has got the slots in it and the bumper itself has got the little hooks on it. So the plan is all the things at the bottom are removed and then you just push the spoiler to one side and it will drop down and come off. Yeah, it's not that secure, is it? 
Right, well, we're now inside the spoiler. Yes, excuse the strange angle. There's my exhaust. So we're looking backwards at the spoiler. So that's my exhaust. Just about there somewhere. I'll put my hand around. There we go. There's my exhaust. All out of focus now. But Now that slotted part you can see, that is actually the CSI lower spoiler. There are the eyes in it. And if you look right to the right, that is one of the hooks. Well, the remains of a hook because the hook snapped off and that's what they always do. So the plan is we'd move the whole spoiler to the right in this case, push it slightly backwards and those hooks there would then engage with the slots. We'd then push the bumper of uh, the spoiler in this case to the left, which is the position it's in now. But as you can see, the hook is well gone, long gone that is, so that's never going to work. And the fix of it, for it of course, is to actually screw it into position, so that's what all these pan head self tappers are here for so in this case how it's usually done and how i did it was put two uh, of the clips in place one at this end one right at the other and then drilled a pilot hole through here and then i put it in a far a four position so in between each of the clips because i think i did have the clips on there the last time i looked and they've long gone now so we've got four screws actually screw the spoiler to the, the plastic housing. Right, well, that's the bottom sorted out. Four lovely pan-headed black screws that hold the spoiler to the moulding that goes around the wheel well. So that's going to stop this moving left and right. So the hooks and eyes should hold in quite nicely. Problem is, is the hooks and eyes, most of them dropped off. So what I did as a belt and braces thing was actually screwed in the spoiler to the bumper at two points. And again, they're black pan headed screws and you can't see them. They're right in there. There's one there and one right at the other end. And that will, even if the moulding fell off, at least the spoiler would still hold on to the bumper. So yeah, belt and braces. Yep, I'm very pleased with it. And it's been the same for what, about eight or nine years since that fell off. So yeah, that's good. So after having a look at how it all goes together, you can understand why there's so many pictures of cars for sale, sports models, without the rear spoiler. They quite often got the front one unless they've broken it, but the back one's gone. And that's just because of the way it's fitted on. So there you go, put the thumbs up if you enjoyed that, if it helped you. Yeah, if you still got it, screw it on. You're going to lose it at some point, I can promise you that. For a penny for a pound, yeah. Those little clips are going to rust and drop off and you're going to lose your rear CSI spoiler. Seen it so many times. Anyway, yeah, thumbs up. Keep subscribing, keep commenting, read all the comments and I'll see you in the next one.